the California Live. Well, cherry season is definitely one of my favorite times of year. And a couple of days ago, I got to hang out with the picking professionals who showed me how to pick the perfect one. Oh, I'm a happy girl right now because it is cherry season and we are at Bornhagen Farms in Brentwood. And this is Kevin. Great to see you. Nice to see you too. Thanks for coming out. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. So how large is this farm? The farm is 20 acres in all. We have about 17 acres planted, which is about 4,000 trees. Um, we have five different varieties. We got Brooks, Lapin, Tulare, Rainier, and Coral. I didn't know there were so many kinds of cherries. Do you need some help uh, cherry picking right now? Yeah, yeah. Would you come help me? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> these are Lapins here that uh, we just got got ripe this week, and uh, we're starting to pick these now. Um, these will be ready for another three weeks, probably. Yeah. Be able to pick. How long does it take for these cherries to grow? It takes, uh, once you plant the tree, it takes five years before it produces a cherry. And then after that, it'll last 25 years and you get a, a, a crop once a year for about four to six weeks. Did you say five years? Five years. That's so a you, long time. So you farm the trees for five years before they start paying you back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a long time, but okay. So then you yeah. get something like this. Look at and, then, and then you get fruit that's uh, plentiful. I mean, it, you can kind of see the branches are just, they're just loaded with fruit. And that's a lapin. They Ooh. don't have to be super dark. They're still sweet and tart. Yep. So um, try them. Okay. Take the stem off. Take the stem off and... Oh my gosh. What do you think? Pretty good? Sweet and tart, like you said. Sweet and tart. Yeah, great for pies. Oh, I, I, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to make me taste it off camera earlier. I'm like, no, I want to be surprised. Wow, this is amazing. It's pretty great, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful way to make a living. It's a Have you always been doing this? No, I was in the auto, automotive business for 36 years, and um, I grew up with uh, my friends in Brentwood here are all farmers. So they talked me into planting cherries. So, so now you go cherry picking all the time. So now I'm a gentleman farmer and I pick cherries and it's a blast. I love it. So I think right now I'm going to talk to uh, your wife, Denise. Yeah. She's yeah. going to tell me more about cherries. The boss. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> look at these cherries and look at the boss, Denine. <laughs> That's what Kevin said. You're the boss. Oh, he's such a liar. He's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, the two of you are so wonderful. So you have all these different types of cherries. Yes, we have five different kinds. That way we are we just have a really nice extended season. Instead of like three or four weeks, we have five or six. So a lot of people can come out and, and they do. All right, so what do we have here? So this is the Brooks cherry. Um, it's a very, very sweet cherry. It's kind of like a coral, but it has big shoulders. This is a coral champagne. It's basically known as the California Bing. Very, very popular in the state. I've heard of that one for sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. these are beautiful. Yes, these, uh, the phone rings off the hook of people wanting these. These are a white Rainier. The meat of the cherry is white and the outside is yellow. Um, Not so sweet. No, no, they're a very mild and yet very flavorful cherry. A lot of people want these to make things with like brandy drinks or Alcohol? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Now yeah. you're speaking my language. <laughs> I hear you, Denise. Okay, yes. what are these right here? These are Tulare, which is a very good pollinizer. These are going to help all of these cherries really produce. So do you need this for, for planting different cherry trees? Yes. If you don't have a pollinizer like a Tulare, then the Rainiers and the Champagne Corals will not produce any fruit. Oh my gosh, so people don't even know that. Yeah, <laughs> we, we get that a lot. People will come up to our fruit stand and they'll say, I have a cherry tree and I have no fruit. And we'll say, well, what kind is it? And they usually don't even know. Yeah. So we'll say, get a Tulare, plant it next to it. After a few years, you'll start to get fruit off whatever else you have. Well, yeah. there you go. Yeah, and, you have to have pollen. And from what you told me earlier, this looks like the cherry pie cherry. Oh, this is the Lapin. This is a great, great cherry. It's very, very flavorful, but not too sugary. So it's great for pies. All right, so eat your cherries. <laughs> eat your cherries. Eat your cherries. God's Denise. gift. Thank you so much. <laughs> the only thing missing right now with this uh, white right here, you know what's missing? Brandy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>